So guys, as announced earlier, we will be reviewing the SKT or Skill Hunt EC200, which is a nice uh, small pocket size um, EDC flashlight with uh, neutral white nichias and red light in one light. So it comes in a really nice cardboard boxing for those who didn't watch my MIX7 video uh, skill hunt is uh, rebranding and they will soon only be called SKT. It's not the easiest name but uh, we will manage to work with it. I got a really nice pouch with the light. I don't know if that is uh, standard but uh, it's pretty nice uh, to store the light while traveling or so. I was also uh, I already took out the battery protection, the light is USB-C chargeable, I prefer the charging port that they put on the MIX-7, but this also works. It's really nice, it has a really nice uh, design around the single optics, it's uh, engraved in the, uh, let's see if I can focus on it. It's engraved in some metal or so. It's the SKT logo, which is quite nice in my eyes. It's really pocket size, really nice. Let's screw it open. It has a magnet in the tail, which is pretty nice. So you can just take out the 18350 battery with 1100 milliamps. It has a sticker how to install the battery. If I'm correct, this light comes in blue, orange, and gray. So the blue you have already seen, it's really nice. Blue, big fan of uh, the colors. Nice bezel. Overall, really nicely machined. So we'll have a look at the extras that come with it. So we have the manual for the EC200S, as they call it here now. Um, and they uh, have it in a mini version, which I have, and in the normal version with an 18650, uh, which is pretty nice. We have the um, spare o-rings and a little plate that you can put instead of the magnet in the tail cap if you don't want the magnet and then we have a nice lanyard which is only branded skill hunt so probably in the future we will see those with uh, SKD and then we have a USB-C charging cable and we have a reverse pocket clip also very nice if they make them reversible. So we'll have a look at the user interface. Single click turns the light on. Keep the button pushed to cycle through the different modes. Double click goes to turbo. Long press goes directly to the moon mode, which is also really nice. And if you keep the button pushed for some time, it will enter the red mode, which also has a few output modes. Double click does nothing. One, two, three, does nothing. So triple click from off goes into strobe mode. Double click goes to SOS mode, another double click, goes back to the stroke mode. So before we start with the user interface, I wanted to show you the power indicator, which is uh, sitting behind a really nice switch, also a nice design. Um, if it's constant blue, it is 100 to 80%, blinking blue is 80 to 50%, constant red 50 to 20 so that's what we have at the moment and blinking red is 20 to 0 percent. It has a really nice uh, and thoughtful user interface 
So long press turns on the light in moon mode. If you are in the moon mode, there are two moon modes available. So you can cycle through the two and uh, the light will memorize which one you have. Used last, single click to turn off again. Normal click turns the light on in the last used mode. Double click goes to turbo, also in the turbo click and hold, you can cycle through two turbo modes. If we have the light on, we just keep the button push to cycle through low, medium and high. It's nicely displayed in their diagram that they include. If you want to go to the red mode or white, warm white mode, if you choose that option or UV mode, you have two options. You push the button, you wait a bit and it turns red. Or you push the button and you keep it pushed and then you're also in that group. Then you are in the red mode, keep the button pushed to cycle through four different output levels and then you have the option to go to strobe in the red mode by three clicks, one, two, three. We have strobe and two clicks switch between the different strobe modes that we have. So I have fast blinking, slow blinking and SOS. If you want to activate the strobe from uh, the main light, you can do it from the on or off state with three clicks. One, two, three. And then with two clicks, you can switch between fast blinking, SOS and slow blinking. So that's pretty nice. And the light memorizes which blinking mode you activated last. So uh, you can always activate whatever you need. Really nice that they have uh, the option to access all the different light modes directly. I hate it if you have to cycle through all the different modes. Overall the light also looks very nice, really nicely machined. Big fan of uh, Skill Hunt or SD lights, how you want to call it. And especially, we'll show you one more time, the nice engraving really makes it look fancy, fancy. If you have a look at the reflectors, we have a smooth and an orange peel reflector for the main lights. Uh, so you have uh, throw and spill combined. We will have a look at what it looks like uh, in the dark because I will now charge the battery up and then measure it in my Olbisch ball and uh, then we will see each other outside. So guys, we are in the forest with the SKT EC200 in the brightest mode, which is indicated with 1400 lumen. I measured 1360 lumen. I will dim down one notch in the brightest mode. Then they indicate 750 lumen. I measured 725 lumen. We'll turn the light off start in the lowest mode which is indicated with 0.6 lumen you don't see much i measured 0.44 ramp it up a notch 44 lumen mode i measured 3.5 lumen then we are in the 40 lumen mode which i measured with 40 lumen then 140 lumen, which I measured with 140 lumen. And the 410 lumen mode, which I measured with 390 lumen. So it is really accurate from the output. Here again, the brightest mode, which produces really a nice beam smooth beam, really usable light, really nice EDC. I will now switch over to the red mode. 
which in the brightest mode I measured with 114 lumen. It is really bright, as you can see, really nice to preserve the night vision. And then you have, of course, lower modes that are really low and really nice. So uh, overall, a very nice light. I'm a big fan of this flashlight and I hope that uh, SKT will produce a lot more of these nice lights in the future. So as always, I hope all the questions have been answered. If not, please put them in the comment section. I would also really appreciate if you could hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.